Welcome to Find Your Fortitude, episode five, hosted by Mark Jansen. And I want to help you start your week up on the right note. And doesn't matter how good your week was last week, how good your weekend was, how bad your weekend was, whatever you're going through, make the decision to change your mindset right now. Make the decision to make this week a fantastic week and find your fortitude. Doesn't matter what you're going through or what's about to happen. If you have the right mindset, you're gonna get through it. I promise you that. I mean, look at everything that you've gone through, you've gotten through it because you're here today. So just remember that. And with that being said, I want to talk about like difficult decisions in your life or challenges. Like I kind of spoke about um, taking responsibility and being honest with yourself, taking the next step, not making excuses. So with all of that, I've come to some crossroads recently where I just needed to make a decision for what I wanted out of my life and the decisions I wanted to make, some very difficult. And I just sat back and I'm like, I got, I was obsessed with Lethal Weapon because the actor, Clayne Crawford, he's freaking amazing. And I just sat back and I'm like, what would he do? You know, and it doesn't like really relate to my life, but in the sense I was like, because I like my TV shows, I like movies. I mean, we all do. That's why like people get excited for movie nights, binge on Netflix, because they're living in a fantasy world. So what if we are able to use that mindset of being in a fantasy world and relating it to our own lives and start asking ourselves, putting ourselves as the hero in the story we love, what would they do? Being the hero of your own story, Man, what do you want to see happen? Like whoever your favorite actor is, whatever your favorite show is, just imagine them in your situation. And what would they do? If it's, you know, my favorite, if it's weight loss and gym, I promise you, you're not sitting on the couch watching this, this TV show where he sleeps in every morning and skips the gym. No, I mean, it's going to be like invincible where he's waking up, like just running miles. Rocky, just non, just nonstop working out, just whatever it is, they're just doing it. They're gonna just push it to extreme levels. Like we love watching it, but we don't want to do it. If it's say it's like, um, you hate your job, like in like the shows we watch, the movies we watch, we love the show so much and the movies and the storylines, not because they're just miserable at their job. And that's the movie, right? It starts, they're miserable at their job. And then at the end of the movie, they're still miserable at their job. You know, like there's some crazy storyline where they either quit their job or they make some significant change or they meet somebody where they're just happy and their, their focus is something different and their life is just completely turned upside down for the complete, for the better. But it, started from an action that they just had to take and it's going skydiving doing all this crazy all this crazy stuff that we don't want to do we're scared to do moving across country leaving a relationship getting into a relationship telling somebody how you truly feel telling somebody to fuck off like standing up for yourself helping somebody out like we see all these things on tv and in these shows and movies which we love because it's just like that's freaking awesome so why can't we do it there's absolutely no reason why you can't do it it's just scary you know and like the like they say the the greatest the greatest moments are are the greatest things in life the greatest achievements are on the opposite side of fear so again, it's so hard, like you can't relate to everybody and one story is not going to relate to everybody, but the whole mindset and the idea of being the hero of your own story 
just gives me chills. Just gives me chills. And if you just wake up in the morning or even before you go to sleep, okay, these are the things that I want in my life. Stop thinking about what you typically do because obviously if you want to change, whatever you've been doing is not working. So you need to change. So what would, what would my hero do? What would this character do? And then just do it. Wake up early. Do something different at work. Tell this person something differently. Do something different at night. And then just see what happens in your life. And don't worry about what everybody else thinks. I got a lot of messages talking about people just, they want to hear me talk about like expectations and kind of not caring what other people think. And because with me, like, you know, me putting all my issues out here for people to basically judge, why am I okay to do it? And why don't I care? And how do I kind of just get through it? And so like with that, like I said, like if you're watching a movie and you see this person just who has all these issues, you don't want to just watch this person just have all these issues and like pout about it and just kind of do their own thing. Like you want to see them like help these people and then these people help other people. And so don't be concerned with, oh, if you take this big chance, all these people are going to judge you. Don't worry about that. Just worry about you and see how you feel. And I just hope that kind of hits home. It's like I said, like, and that's the, the thing with motivation and inspiration. They're all generic messages. Be happy, help other people, do something crazy, get over fear. Like it's all the, the same message. Like, but hopefully if you hear it in a different way, you think about it differently. And regardless of what it is, you just have to be conscious of it so where you're thinking about it at all times. At like, whenever you see yourself coming to a crossroad and something either good happening or you see yourself kind of going in the wrong direction, you need to make the choice. For like for me, it's, it's as simple as I don't wanna to go to the gym, I wanna to go to In-N-Out because I'm in Texas and I freaking love that place. So what's it, what's it going to be like that's that cross that decision is going to lead to another decision. So do I want to watch somebody on TV just freaking eat fast food and skip the gym? No, I want to see them go to the gym, like get through like that craving they had and just get to the next level. That's what I want to see. So why can't I do it? And again, it all comes back to self-discipline, self-love, everything just relates. So next time you're like, oh, I should do this. I don't want to do this. I have to do whatever, like whatever it is, the war inside your mind, like it's crazy. Like I said, everything just is intertwined. So when you come to another conflict like that in your life, just think about, okay, well, I'm obsessed with this TV, this TV show. What would this person do? What would I want to watch? Cause I guarantee you, you don't want to watch that person be lazy or take the easy road. You want to see like the excitement, like them doing something that changes their life. That's just freaking insane and just crazy. So just make that your life. And um, I just hope you guys have a great day, a positive day. I hope this message helps people. And don't be scared to be the hero of your own story. Because nobody else is. Nobody else is going to help you get through the tough days. Like you need to do it on your own. And once you just kind of start accepting that it's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it. I promise you that. Then hopefully you make some positive changes in your life and you can help some other people make positive changes. Um, and at the end of the day, we're just trying to find our fortitude, guys. Find your fortitude to live a better and more positive life, guys. Have a great week. I'll be back next week.